In today's video, we're picking up live rock and live sand from Tampa Bay saltwater, and I'm on the way there right now. It's gonna be a little bit of a drive, but we're ready for it. Okay, so before I could add live rock and live sand, I needed to set up the 10 gallon aquariums. I cleared a space in each room for these tanks and according to Tampa Bay Saltwater's instructions, I needed to prepare the life support system before I picked up the package. Now the package from Tampa Bay Saltwater is for new aquariums and it includes a tried and true ratio of live sand, live rocks, and critters. It's based on the aquarium size and it helps achieve a stable, long-term, healthy marine environment and reef aquarium. Now this comes in two parts, but before I could receive the package, I need to finish setting up these tanks. All right, so once I got the aquariums full of water, I realized I needed one more hang on the back filter, so I made a quick trip. All right, so out of all these aquarium filters, I'm looking for just an inexpensive one and 1532, I guess. We'll give that a try. Wow, it already looks open. Hope it's all there. You know what? Let me get the wrong one behind it. Oh. Let me get the one behind it. Look at that. And we'll pick this up too. Okay, so here's the Aquatec hang on the back filter. Now I'm using this so that I can have something to pass water through and I'll probably end up using Aquachar in the filter chamber here after a while, but for the first few weeks or so, I'm probably not gonna need anything in the filter. All right, let's power it on and prime it up. Nice, it's working like a champ. Next, it's time to add lighting, and I'm using the Heiger 30 Watt Saltwater Aquarium LED light. Now, if you wanna take a look at my first look review video that I did on this Heiger light fixture that I bought off of Amazon, I'll have a link in the description below for you to check out. But this light is very affordable, and it looks to be the perfect fit for this tank. Next, I added a heater, and that's it. That's all you need for a tank this size a hang on the back filter, a light fixture, and a heater to keep a nice stable temperature. Okay, so here's the tank before any live rock or sand in it. I have this Cobalt Aquatics heater that I have not used in a while, but I have that in there. So hopefully that's good. And this um, Aquatec hang on the back filter is actually pretty quiet for $15. And of course, the Heiger Aquarium Saltwater Light. Oh, and let me know in the comments below or not if you think this is a good idea. I took a surge protector power strip and I put it right here behind this uh, dresser top here so it's out of the way and water's not going to drip down and leak to it because it is above uh, the tank water level. So let me know in the comments if that's a good idea. And then the next thing we're gonna do is add the live rock and live sand. It's gonna be awesome. Which means it was time to secure the package. Tampa Bay Saltwater cultivates their own live rock from their own little piece of the ocean. So I'm super excited to pick this up. Um, we're meeting up with them today. Gonna grab a 20 pound box of rock and sand to take that back home and set up the tanks. This series is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited to use the Live Rock and Live Sand from Tampa Bay Saltwater. If you wanna check out more information about them, I'm gonna have a link in the description below for you. All right, so we're doing like a Live Rock meetup type thing. I'm super excited. We're about to pull in right now. I think we're here somewhere over here all right we're looking for a blue truck for a blue truck white top how are you guys doing good how are you? doing well We've got two of your two boxes one's going to have your sand in it and one's going to have your base room. okay cool yeah. thank you so much and just like that we secured the package one box is the sand and one box is the rock all right, that was really cool. Local pickup. We gotta get these boxes back to 
the 10 gallon build. Let's go. Selling raw milk, bro. Uh, there's a cow. Okay, so we made it back and we have the Tampa Bay saltwater boxes right here. Again, one of these is going to be the live rock and one is going to be the live sand. So let's go ahead and open them up and see what's inside. Okay, let's see what's in this top box right here. I want to say this is probably the sand. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what this looks like. So when you get your order from Tampa Bay Saltwater, they come in two different phases. So this is part one. This is the first phase. Oh, check that out. A hat. No way. All right, so this is the sand. All right, so this is a big box of live sand and it's got water packed on the inside and everything. So look at that sand in there full of beneficial bacteria for the tank. So whenever you get your order from Tampa Bay Saltwater, it's going to be packed like this in the box ready to go. We're going to get this into there. Okay, so before we get into the live sand, we're going to move this box out of the way so we can check out the live rock. Okay, so it should be very similar here. Open this up. Well packaged. I mean... This is great packaging. Everything's gonna stay nice and secure. And then in here, yes, we have some rocks, some nice, beautiful live rocks. Excited to get these guys out of here. You can see that they are also in water, various size rocks in here. And we're gonna actually open this up and take a look. All right, double bag, okay? down in here and get this rubber bands off all right look at that nice different size rocks for the aquariums all right so here's the sand so there's a lot of awesome things going on with the sand bed um, so what we're going to do is find something to scoop that out and get that in the tank. So the first thing to do was to add the sand to the tank, being very careful not to add water from the bag. Then it was time to add the rocks. Just take a look at this awesome piece of rock right here. So this is Tampa Bay Saltwater's base rock. Now the live rock and live sand instantly start your aquarium because they are home to beneficial bacteria that live all over them. That's why it's called live sand and live rock. Being able to set up an aquarium and get it ready with the beneficial bacteria that it needs to support the life that you're gonna add to it later, such as fish and corals, is just a great way to start an aquarium. And so far, the quality of live rock and live sand that I received from Tampa Bay Saltwater is great. This looks amazing. I'm super excited to see how this tank evolves and changes as we continue to set things up. Remember, there are two 10 gallon tanks that we're setting up in each of these rooms. And we did the same process with some of the sand and live rock in this tank and some of the sand and live rock in the other tank. So it's really cool to see how these two tanks came together with the first package here from Tampa Bay Saltwater. Thank you. 
If you enjoyed this video, then you're definitely not going to want to miss the next video. So go ahead and click or tap your screen to watch that now. And if you have any questions about the 10 gallon tank builds, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one.